freedom of speech uh, guarantees the right of uh, the citizens to participate in the democratic process and the freedom of the media uh, is a condition sine qua non uh, for democracy. The press uh, should provide uh, uh, information on the political subject and on subjects which are of public interest. The freedom of uh, uh, the press is one of the best uh, uh, tools uh, for uh, forming opinions uh, uh, and political uh, uh, positions. Uh, it enables uh, the politicians to get acquainted uh, with the subjects, uh, with topics uh, of interest to uh, the general public. The right to criticize politicians, uh, uh, senior officials and uh, uh, government bodies uh, is guaranteed in the European Convention on Human Rights. And the right to criticize the government is also guaranteed, as is the right to write on all uh, matters of public interest. Uh, in a democratic system uh, of government, the action or inaction of, uh, of government uh, should be uh, a subject of analysis not only by the penal uh, institutions, not only by the judiciary, but also by the media. In practice, however, the freedom of speech is a value uh, which needs uh, protecting. Uh, lawsuits against journalists are, are frequent, um, mainly for slander. Com uh, compensations are usually sought uh, rather than a moral uh, redress, and in this way uh, the freedom of speech has been uh, uh, curtailed. Undoubtedly, after 1989, Bulgaria has advanced in terms of freedom of expression. This freedom developed so well that uh, out of doing so much of expression of their free thoughts, some people forget about their jobs. Journalists can be sued not only when there is a premeditated uh, act, but also inadvertent, uh, inadvertent damage uh, uh, done because of uh, lack of due care. When it is recognized that a journalist uh, uh, has impaired uh, the honor and the good name and reputation of someone, uh, the publisher who owns or publishes the newspaper or, or, or the respective media can also be sued. Uh, such administrative sanctions uh, can, uh, can bring down uh, and close down a, a newspaper, for instance, because some small newspapers will not be in a position to pay such large sums. Large media uh, take care uh, to uh, guarantee the defense to provide the uh, lawyers uh, uh, to defend uh, uh, the accused, but uh, at the local level it is different. Uh, even some local uh, members of the bar uh, refuse to defend journalists because uh, they risk being uh, 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 they risk they risk getting into the bad books of the local of the local uh, senior civil servants, uh, uh, governors, and so on. Current uh, practice in criminal proceedings is very close to the European criteria, though some modifications still uh, need, uh, need to be made. But in, in civil cases, uh, things uh, remain unchanged for more than half a century, and uh, there is a lot to be uh, done to improve the current situation uh, and guarantee the freedom of speech in uh, full measure. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, there is a good will to find this balance both in, uh, on the uh, part of politicians and on the part of journalists, and it is possible to solve the remaining problems with uh, uh, a couple of amendments uh, to the current legislation, and uh, um, after then Bulgaria uh, will be exemplary in the European Union in terms of uh, respect for the freedom of speech. We certainly don't believe that that there should be any kind of uh, punitive measures taken against journalists when it comes to defamation. Any defamation judgment should be there to try and address the, uh, the damage that a individual has felt uh, after, he, after he's been defamed. There shouldn't be uh, punitive uh, criminal charges and uh, certainly not imprisonment for case of defamation inside the EU. Another problem which uh, we at the IPI feel is becoming more of a problem in Europe in general is um, the undermining of, of journalists' right to protect the 
confidentiality of their sources, uh, which is a fundamental uh, necessity that a journalist has in order to be able to actually successfully go about their, go about their job. Um, this happens principally in two ways. A, any journalist that is forced to reveal their sources instantly loses their credibility and it's going to become a lot difficult, a lot more difficult for them to perform their, their job in the future. B, as stated before, the, the, uh, the right to, uh, to maintain the secrecy of sources is fundamental. Without that, we'll see sources come forward a lot less more often with information that uh, is vitally important for the public to know. The freedom of expression and um, the ways in which it can be uh, protected and uh, guaranteed and uh, ways in which uh, rules on label, libel and slander can be used in a way so that they're not abused. I would also like to join um, Mrs. Obretenov and Mr. Vasilev in their appeal to um, continue this discussion further, uh, this time in Bulgaria. As a liberal, freedom is essential to my worldview. The freedom to think, the freedom to move, the freedom to live your life without arbit arbitrary re restriction is essential to the liberal society in which innovation can prosper and in which dignity can be preserved. And I think we owe a huge debt of gratitude to those people, whether they are in politics, whether they're in the media, or whether they are fighting for the rights of uh, particular groups in society who are under threat, who put their own safety and their own lives on the line in pursuit of what they believe. I'm sure that you've heard from the excellent speakers, Mr. Vasiliev and Mr. Peters, that we've had today about the current picture in Europe. There is certainly no case for complacency. We've recently had two major media surveys, uh, one in November of last year and one in February of this year, by the Association of European Journalists, which have pointed out all of the problems that we face over 20 countries, from Russia to the United Kingdom. We know that there is physical violence and even murder of journalists. We know that national governments are increasingly responsible for restrictive laws which make the work of journalists very difficult, if not impossible. We have recently seen journalists prosecuted under secrecy laws. Phone tapping of the media has grown. The right of journalists to protect their sources is being placed in fresh doubt, as a recent case in Ireland uh, has shown us. The politicization of public broadcasting is a major problem in some Central and Eastern European countries, in Poland particularly uh, at the moment. The concentration of media ownership is another problem that we all face and even in a country which many of us considered a reasonably healthy democracy like Italy, we can see the impact that somebody like Silvio Berlusconi, combining political and media power, can have. But we have a major task ahead of us together as politicians and journalists to promote and to safeguard freedom of reporting and freedom of information. The very fact that we have held this seminar will have helped to move things forward. And we will certainly be working in the run-up to the European elections next year and in the new parliament to try to get a greater recognition at official level in the European Union of the huge importance of an unfettered right to report.